Good morning. I'm Tom, and we're going to be charging, well, actually, charging that with this. And we're using Pro Power and a nice adapter, NEMA adapter, and charging the Rivian with Pro Power on the Lightning Flash or Lightning King Ridge, technically. We're going to be using um, the adapter and the Lightning's EVSE. We can also use the Rivian if you want, but I'll walk you guys through how you can use Pro Power to charge another EV level two speeds. All right, so I'll start with the setup here. We've got the lightning backed up to the garage here. The outlet is in the bed. Outlet's back here. Starlink is plugged in right there in the 120. <laughs> That's what I'm using for internet right now because my router's too far away. <laughs> then we got the Rivian, of course. Was level two charging on my wall connector, but because of Florida, it keeps overheating. So, perfect time to test this out. Yeah. Plug. Just here. I usually wrap this up, but I'm just gonna do that for now. There we go. So, got that. We are now gonna go to the front. In here is where the most important parts keep. We have for DVSE. This is the current, you can, you can swap it out. This is the current um, adapter I have plugged in. And you can use this in a typical like washer dryer outlet if you have this one. So it's a NEMA 1450. I used to use this for my Model 3 when I used to charge <laughs> using this. I didn't have a wall for a while. And then here, this is the adapter we'll be using to connect it to Pro Power. Now, this is the adapter I actually had a brief mentioning in my camper video because originally it was supposed to be what I'd use to plug into Pro Power and then plug into the 30 amp for the camper. Problem is Amazon sent the wrong one. It was not supposed to be a four prong. It's supposed to be a three prong. But thankfully I found out kind of accidentally that this happens to fit perfectly with the EVSC here. So it has a use now. Level two charging other EVs, starting with the R1S. And when I get an adapter for my where is it? I have a testable connector. Ignore the clutter. We're right here. This used to charge my Model 3 and we used to use this three prong. So I'm gonna get a different adapter for that so I can also charge via NEX. So we're gonna get this hooked up. I'm gonna plug in the EVSE to the bed, and then plug this end, of course, to the Rivian and see what happens. This is the Pro Power side of the cable. This is the 30 amp outlet. It's kind of circular type of design. But this is what we'll be plugged into. It'll be the same 30 amp outlet I used to power the camper for about a week. Pro power is super useful. Okay, open it up. Oh, there we go, I opened the wrong one. This is the correct one. Plug that in like so. There you go, now that's in. Then we'll take our ABSE, plug it in right here. Other way. There we go. And now it's got power. So now we uh, untie these and we'll walk over to the lightning. Uh, nope, this is lightning. Walk over to the Rivian. The probe power connected, and we're going to now plug it in to the Rivian. There we go. Outlet is running, EVSC is working, and Rivian is charging. Pretty good. Let's take a look on the lightning side. We can look at the probe power screen and see just how much power we're taking. Go to the apps, probe power on board. And sync is slow. That's one of the video I play to make how slow sync is. All right. So we're using about, <laughs> we're using about the uh, entirety of both inverters. Um, is it's, it's split in three zones. So there's, oh, that's what the noise was. There's a bike. Um, so it's split in, into three areas. Basically there's, and here it's front and cabin. So here, 
and then there are two separate for uh, the bed, which is pretty cool. So on the camper, I was only using one. This is using both. And we're maxing out what looks like about seven-ish kilowatts. And actually, we can look in the Rivian app as well. We don't have to move. There we go, we're charging. Still increasing speed a little bit to 16 miles per hour. I wish the Rivian app would just be easy to show charging speed. Like, oh, here we go. So yeah, close to seven kilowatts. We're going about 6.6 .6 kilowatts. My wall connector usually will do about 10 to 11. Um, I had to kick it down a bit because of all the heat. So I think it's only running at like 24 amps or something like that. So technically the lightning is charging faster than it from an amp -proof standpoint. But yeah, it's a really simple setup. All you need are one of these adapters, your already existing EVSC, and another EV. If you have that pro power, you could be that hero to save a stranded EV in need. If you go in here, I'll have an EVSC in here. This is just the standard 110 or 120 that it comes with. But somewhere in here, there is an adapter for a need. Here we go. It looks to be the same one. Oh, bro. Yep. Same one. So I could even use my actual Rivian EVSC instead. Do the same thing. So if you have an EVSC with your car, which if you have a Ford, you will have one. This one right here always comes standard in the trunk, which I closed to move the truck. Always comes standard right in here. Have a 110 and then your Nemo. And so with that, you can also triple charge if you absolutely need to. If you don't have your Nemo for a reason, you can use this one too. And triple charge would be at one of these outlets here or one of the existing 120s that are also in the bed next to the 30 amp. So if you need to, you can also triple charge versus level two, but it is very slow. So if you have a NEMA adapter, you might as well. This, this is pretty good, especially when my wall never keeps overheating. <laughs> so pretty simple setup. If I wanted to, I could just leave it charging the whole time. I think reading is about 87%. So yeah, 275 miles, yeah, 82%. So the lightning being at 66% or maybe now 65 now I've been charging it. Uh, also 66, so holding well. The battery defense is not the biggest. While my battery is a max pack, technically, it's software locked from 141 kilowatt hours down to 120. And the lightning has the new novel 123 kilowatt hour usable pack. So it's almost apples to apples from a, a capacity standpoint. So this going down from 66, and this charges from 82 to 100%. That's taking about 18% of Lightning's battery. So probably be around, you know, 48 or something like that when my math is mathing. Uh, I would sit and try it out, but I have to go and pick up my iPhone 17 because this phone right here keeps overheating. But let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever charged another EV with your EV? And there are more EVs that do this too. A Moose Air, I believe, can do it. Tesla Cybertruck can do it. Silver Rod EV, I believe, can do it as well. One EV, I wish that could do it. The one that we're charging. The Rivians have some of the biggest packs on the market, at least mainstream anyway. Like I said, this has a 141 kilowatt hour pack. That's an additional 20 up from the Lightning. And the Lightning gets worse range, <laughs> well, worse efficiency. These have very big battery packs. And somehow, despite having that giant battery pack, will you open? Will you open? Hello. There you go. Thank you. They only give us a 110. All that battery power. No vehicle to home, no V2X or anything. All you get is a 110. And I have a lot of them. You get one 110 there, one there, and they took the one out of the front. So you have less use, which is great. I love having less use of my vehicles. I love using it less. It's great. Very great. Because if they were to add 30 amp output, I could probably camp with this and probably get better towing range because of more, you know, flush shape and much more efficient motors than this. I could probably get better towing range and longer lasting power for my camper. But nope, Rivian won't do it. So Rivian, please, if you're watching this, which I hope you are, add 30 amp output it is very useful. I can charge an EV with this. I can power my house with this if I had uh, the right 
converter installed. So yeah, it should happen. But let me know what you guys think about this setup. Have you guys done it before? And what EV have you used for it, if you have? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.